I told Charlie he could have two hours of screen time if he finished his homework by eight. Which was her best judgment. But then he said one hour of screen time after dinner. Which was my best judgment. So you've put us in a tough spot here, preacher. <laughs> <laughs> How about it? But I think maybe that ended up confusing things at home. A little. Why don't you try a point-based system? <sighs> yeah. Oh my God, it's a matador. He's my favorite. Did he do his Montezuma's revenge move? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you like wrestling, Heather? Like it? Love it. Maybe he'll give me an autograph. Kenny, excuse me. Okay. All clear? Um. Wait. You're El Matador? You're El Diablo. Man, I hated you. You were the worst. You're not embarrassing. More than that. What? You're gonna think it's stupid. Just say it, Abby. It's St. Peter. He holds the keys to heaven. Given Dad's current situation, now is not the time to make him the butt of a dick joke. How dare you? My husband was at Hagen's show last night. Wouldn't shut up about some little Mexican singer in a red dress. My red dress, sewn off my clothes on yesterday. I know it was you. I want my dress returned, or I'll take it up with the sheriff. John, do you desire to feel the burden of responsibility? I think we're touching on self-esteem issues here. I can feel it. Most arrive at this phase at about the same time, their second anniversary. A colleague just published research on this phenomena. Couples who have not resolved their major differences, such as having a child, within those crucial early years, face a greater risk of failure. Yes. Okay, that sounds a little ridiculous to me. 